us. There are light. The last part of the sun done before the forbidden west. Or Kara Jahorn. That means the other sister has it. Alright, I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply my stash. I'd be worth taking a look around, too. Errand. That looks like he's had a few. Gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need. Ask away. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what? Since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open, once the Tanakh have left. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol. Especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor. Hey, I we still have a long way now. to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. 
But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Ignoring me Why again? the sun believe we can have peace with these barbarians? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? Ah, Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be good. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Might be worth another look around the Daunt before the embassy. And Thurlis mentioned there's a hunting grounds near here to train up. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word, Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier.
Ah, savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy... <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Hey, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> Ooh. Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the car to search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Can't override that now. Need to get data from the cauldron if I can find one. Gotta back down. Should be easy to follow the trail up ahead now.
blood. A lot of it. Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. The runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. That's from my stash, Manny. That's where did you go off to? Traylin's here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past fair and light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. The Savior will die, and I will enjoy watching it happen.
This will be my stash when I need it. The Sundom will fall. I know it in my heart. You see that too? No! <laughs> Should be enemy recon. You're out! Don't lose her! That outlander's here! Firing! Go! Go! She's climbing up there! I messed this up. Tell me where they are. I'm guessing that's where I had. Well, the trail must have been his. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vesra a visit and crush his new Eclipse Empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, not past Baron Light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. When we fought the Eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. Guess I was wrong. Hey, what happened here? What do... what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these... these two... Idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing.
Machines. They've trapped all the rest of them up here. Let's go on cauldrons next between all the world and things. Are you hurt? Oh, I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain-climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. I won't make you any promises, but... If I'm up there, I'll have a look. Same with any other towers I find. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens of this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. Caster won't work on that. You can smell the opportunity in the <laughs> Okay, I'm in. Caster to latch on.
to loot this place. Okay, made it. And I guess that's the signal device. So the metal reflects the sun to send a message to the other towers? Got the lens. I can trade it with Reyna the next time I see her. to get a healer to look at his ankle. Did you find the lens? Maybe. If you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal! Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. Now, if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around. Everything okay up there? What, so you care now? Yeah, no, not just, I'm just making small talk. Keep up the good work. Sir? There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar? He might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? 
I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. <laughs>